Tokyo Live and, and also Tokyo Live 1. one. Welcome to Tokyo Live 2021. I am Nageshwar Reddy from Hyderabad, India, and co-chairing with me is uh, Dr. Kochi Matsuda from Shizuoka, Japan. We are going to have a very interesting lecture by Professor Takayu Itoi on U.S. guided anti-grade stenting with hepatic gastrostomy for a patient with diurnal obstruction. Takao. So I am very happy to introduce the Professor Takao Itoi. Itoi sensei is one of our dear friends and great heroes, especially in terms of pancreatic biliary field. He graduated from Tokyo Medical University in 1991 and currently uh, professor and chairman of the GI department at the Tokyo Medical University. In addition, he's also a visiting professor of Keio University and the Tokyo Medical Dental University. As you know, his major is the diagnostic and therapeutic endoscopy particularly in pancreatic biliary diseases using EOS and the standard ELCP as well as the balloon assisted ELCP. As of now, he published more than 470 peer reviewed papers in high impact factor journal with his novel and special technique and outcome research. We are very extremely excited to watch his, his EOS HES with his talented skill. So, Itoi Sensei, please show us your wonderful lecture. Thank you very much, Koji, my best of the best friends, and the whole kind of introduction. And the Nagi as well. Uh, Nagi is uh, my old friends, and uh, I love both. Okay, <laughs> so today I'd like to show the uh, my live demonstration on the interventional EOS. Hello, everyone. I'm Takao Itoi uh, in Tokyo Medical University Hospital now. So uh, in this uh, uh, live demonstration, I'd like to uh, perform uh, interventional EOS, uh, in particular, uh, US guided hepatic gas system. And uh, I will introduce our patient. And the patient has a uh, 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 Obstructive jammies and duodenal obstruction due to recurrent pancreatic cancer. And uh, so last week we performed ERCP first, but unfortunately, uh, due to duodenal obstruction, uh, ERCP failed. So today uh, we switch to interventional events. Okay, let's get started. So first, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce our procedure. Uh, we use uh, uh, GFUCT uh, 260 or, or interventional US. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the linear, linear array and tangoscope. And so, uh, next I'd like to introduce our uh, uh, procedure of uh, hepatic gastrocin. So, uh, in case of a uh, dilated bladder, with a hepatic bladder, usually we use a uh, 19 gauge needle and a puncture after that. O25 inch hard type guide wire, usually we prefer a uh, busy grider too. And then, after draft dilation, using uh, ES director, mechanical director first. In case of difficult, uh, uh, direction, uh, we use uh, a quarter diameter, or uh, sometimes uh, use a uh, uh, small guiding balloon uh, with uh, for the main uh, length. So then, fi finally, uh, we place the uh, uh, plastic set uh, between stomach and the uh, interhepatic bladder. But so recently. Uh, we prefer anti grade stenting as well at the same time. So, firstly, a, the guide wire uh, manipulates advance into the through the stenosis structure of the guide and the papillon, and then 
first we, we after uh, first dimension, we place the uh, anti-wear metal sense, uncovered metal sense usually, uh, sometimes uh, above the papilla. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, inside metal sense. And then, uh, finally, we place uh, plastic IT stem for the hepatico gas uh, because first uh, the, the stent is very cheap, second, stent is uh, very easy, easier uh, pressing type, uh, uh, plastic stent. And third, the aim of the pressing of the plastic stent is just uh, to keep the trap uh, for reintervention. Main main root of the value that flow value flow is uh, uh, anti grade stain. So uh, today I'd like to show the our uh, procedure. Okay, let's see. So me okay. So gently in, gentle insertion, gently insert scope is very important to avoid the necessary complication like uh, perforation along the, the entrance of the esophagus area. Slowly and to keep the endoscopic imaging and suction, suction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So gently we advance the score into the now you can see uh uh oh my. so twenty five C a millimeter so uh, we have to check the length of the, the up to uh, the data and the uh, we saw wizard intervening blood vessel using uh, in particular uh, in gastric wall here. Now no no vessel, no vessel. And the preferable preferable puncture size is V2. You see I can see a V3 now. V3 now. This thing now. So this is a B2, but uh, sometimes the B2 is uh, uh, worried about uh, uh, media spinal function. Uh, that causes the uh, media spinal access to uh, sometimes very severe information. So B3 is uh, safe, but in case of uh, anti grade stenting, it's possible for the B2 is much better. Anyway, so let's check the B2. B2. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice and uh, we can we also check. Check the uh, here is uh, below the easy junction. Easy junction, right? That's true. I just think about it. Come on. Okay. It is safe? I think so. B2. 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 So B2 is much safer, right? Yes. Mm. So we have to uh, decide B2 or B3. I guess uh, B3 is much, much safer. Right? And the thought. The, direct, the, the diameter of the diagram is uh, relatively very nice. Right. So, 6.1, enough direction. That's why so we, firstly, uh, we choose uh, 19 gauge needle, right? Yeah. 19 gauge needle, uh, we decided uh, our procedure. Uh, firstly, 19 gauge needle puncture. And the O25 is that wire, the big wire, and then is the later direction, 
and the no, before that, uh, for the antigrade species, uh, after or uh, before the fractalization using the ease data, we use uh, standard cassette. Standard cassette to negotiate the uh, switch side or uh, compare side. The guide wire, I mean, uh, I want to get wire advanced into the building. Okay. Okay, so 19 days, please. And so 19 days, you know, after. Uh, we, we, I prefer the sonotic, 90 days, you know. Uh, so this is more than a year. Yeah. Okay. Using the uh, uh, elevator. The, the deviation is very nice, looks nice. Uh, again, we check the Doppler mode to avoid the intervening blood vessel. No vessel. Okay, magnifying mode. Okay. And the supportive assumption. And puncture. Get in, I guess. And so let's see. Okay, plural. It is very nice imaging. Let's insert the guide wire. What do you want by what do you file with guide wire? And the, so I I love the feature control, feature control or guide wire manipulation. Oh, okay. We got away at the bus in the uh, the side. It's okay. Of course, and that can throw something more. Uh, okay, now we can get the advanced guy in the C V D. But I guess uh, the looping is uh, very difficult. So sometimes the heat from the B3 company. Uh, it's called the uh, difficult manipulation of the data. Uh, uh, for example, there is I don't like, not only that way, but also spending with that data. Okay, let's. And firstly, the O2 will be over the O2 5 inch data wire, the ES data, mechanical data. We have the box. Okay, please. Now we get in. Now we get in. Come on, that boy and sister. Next, Cassita. Cassita is okay. So we advance the capital into the CVD. Yes. So go. Okay, perfect. Ready. Okay, so let's advance the function. The injection. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very to tortuous uh, CBD. Maybe we increase the uh, metal set uh, just inside. Okay. Mm. Take a picture, please. If possible, the anti air. Oh, great. Um, you have a great job. You did a great job. So, to avoid the necessary leakage of file uh, during this procedure, uh, in particular, exchanging uh, time, 
So, uh, we need the peak. So, quick peaks change the device. Okay, so we, will, we, will talk, uh, we want to use the uh, 8, 8cm lens and 10 mm in diameter because uh, we found uh, two switches. One is the uh, mirror of a biodump and the other is the uh, uh, digital switch due to reform loss from metal surface. That's why, so we, we set the long, long lens uh, metal thing. It's here. I guess uh, from the, the papilla, across the papilla, and the, around the higher port. Okay? Yes, yes. Uh, this uh, French delivery uh, system is 5.6, right? 5.6, right? 5.4. 5.4. Very similar. That's why so. Looks uh, very easy. Can you show this? Yeah. And uh, yes, and you can see uh, the tip of the delivery system across the appearance. Okay, let's open. Okay. Open one scene. Only one scene. Open. Now you can see very nice open. One scene. Okay. And okay. Gradually deploy. Deploy. Draw. After switch, we the other we push to adjust to adjust the button. Now we do it and push the delivery system to adjust the button. Now it's very nicely open. And finally, the approachman side, you can see, you can see a uh, two severe structure, a very tough structure. Okay, open up. Picture, uh, the ACM is correct. Uh, very suitable for this picture. Okay, so finally, so we place the uh, uh, transit step for the practical gas Is it okay? Yes. Okay, guideline in place? Yes. Maybe the guideline in place? Okay, so this is a uh, plastic scent and very smooth, very paper, uh, very paper picks. Okay. Here it's enough, and the check is there. Finally, okay. Deploy the process. And you can see very nicely insertion. Picture. So uh, this is our standard procedure uh, for the Japanese and the uh, with the original uh, of the Thank you very much. Thank you very kind of you. Thank you, Takao, for that very nice demonstration. You made that very difficult case look very easy because of your skills. Uh, as we start discussing this case, uh, the permission of uh, Koji, I wanted to ask you yes. certain uh, points. When you use it, 19 gauge needle, do you have any specific needle like access needle or you just use the standard US needle? Thank you, Nagi. And so 
Unfortunately, the access needle or, uh, you know, this recently COVIDian, the access needle is not available uh, in Japan. I'm, I'm not sure that it, is, it will be popular uh, in Japan, but uh, so far uh, we have to use uh, uh, standard FNA needle. Okay. Yeah. No choice. Yeah. Then second question, do you use a six French sister storm always to make the opening? So uh -huh. after you go inside, use a six French or uh, do you directly, because yeah. again, the practice is various uh, in different parts of the world. Yeah. So many years ago, uh, we frequently use a six, six French sister tone for track to direction. But uh, uh, recently, we prefer the mechanical, uh, very thinner tip, very thinner tip mechanical direct up to seven French because uh, uh, already we published the data, uh, the uh, cotyledon cotyledon direct uh, causes uh, frequently the breathing after or uh, be, uh, during uh, the procedure. That's why so recently uh, what our uh, popular uh, is uh, our preference of a need for track to direction is uh, uh, ES direct. But of course, we know that, for example, the severe uh, cholangitis cases, very hard to penetrate, uh, even using uh, SINA uh, mechanical data at that time, uh, we changed to uh, the steel uh, six French. Or well, now the is uh, uh, four, four French, uh, very SINA, O25 inch uh, type uh, coated data. Uh, made in Japan, uh, we frequently use. Yes, because this is not available in the rest of the world. I know. So this we have to also. The, because when you're using uh, also this, you use the, your special plastic stent, I think. This also is not available in any part of the world. <laughs> Maybe you'll send you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But the metal stent, what do you normally use for metal stent in this situation? Which type of stent? Uh, the, for the anti-grade? Yeah, for the anti-grade. Uh, I love basically the SINA uh, delivery system and the uncovered metal stand. Uncovered oh. metal stand. So now in Japan, so fortunately, we have a lot of uh, less than six French uh, delivery huh. system. Huh. So today's uh, we, we showed the uh, 5.4 French. Very SINA, very SINA, like a consider. Yeah. Uh, the easy easier to advance the structure and the papilla without any pre dilation. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, Koji. Oh, hi, uh, Takon says excellent downhive demonstration. I love that. And, and uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. The first, uh, which part of most I mean difficult and delicate in your sequence? And uh, what is the clue I mean to overcome uh, the trouble? I mean, it, it might be a very, very difficult question. So, uh, but uh, just impression. First is the most important, or second or third. Uh, the puncture. Yes, puncture and that sequence, whole sequence. Uh, whole sequence. Which whole part? sequence uh, of, uh, number one is a puncture site. Mm -hmm. Number one is a puncture site. Mm -hmm. uh, that causes uh, easily so miss uh, manipulation later. That's why the first is we have to uh, see uh, which which uh, bile duct is best. B2 mm -hmm. or B3, if, uh, even uh, if a B2 puncture, uh, which part, which a uh, B3, which part is much better, uh, very different. And then second uh, importance, uh, the tract dilation. Tract dilation is very important, so, uh, that's why, so if possible, so we have to prepare every, every tract dilation devices. For example, uh, mechanical ES director, uh, balloon, dilating balloon, LAN, and uh, of course, uh, in case of difficult uh, dilation, uh, we have to use, prepare the uh, cautery dilator, six French, even six French system. Yeah. So uh, once you insert the, uh, the guide wire deeply, and mm. that's going to become uh, very, very stable. Is that right? Yeah, right. Okay, the second question. 
I mean, mm. do you do the, the, this procedure at the same session when you cannot insert the scope into the descending part of the duodenum? Because uh, the, that patient has no, uh, uh, I mean, no, no stand for duodenum. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, okay, uh, uh, the, that patient has a stricture at the, the uh, descending part of the duodenum. So uh, I think, uh, you know, you're gonna place the stent into the duodenum too. You're gonna do that the same session or a different session. Ah, okay, okay. So in case of, uh, you mean a double stenting? Yes. Uh, in case of uh, duodenal stenting, the, you, usually first uh, duodenal stenting and then uh, hepatic or gastrostomy. Of course, sometimes uh, in combination with anti-grade stenting. But so my recent topic is, uh, you know, the use guided to gastro jejunostomy. That's why, uh, firstly, uh, use guided gastro jejunostomy and then uh, hepatic gastrostomy after that. Great. So the third one, uh, what was the great change when you invented the IT stand? I mean, is it to dilate or want to insert? And uh, how about dislodgement of this stent? Mm -hmm. No dislodgement? Thank you so much. So to avoid the necessary dislodgement or uh, migration, so we embedded this uh, uh, IT stent. Mm -hmm. So a large flap, so, uh, so both sides large flap and a single pigtail mm -hmm. it, it, is uh, very helpful for, for such uh, unnecessary migration avoidance. And then uh, the pushability, the straight tip and the tapering tip is a very nicely uh, so tangential or power, so uh, easy uh, insertion. That's why, so we invented this type of stand. Great, so of course, I mean, who do you think is the proper endoscopist to perform this procedure? And for example, uh, how many ELCT procedures or intervention procedures would be required for the? Thank you very much. It is a hard question <laughs> to answer because uh, basically uh, I love, I love uh, ELCP first. Mm -hmm. Almost all cases we can do uh, but only by e ERCP, Nine, more than 99 percent. But uh, recently, the young junior doctor changed change their mind. Mm -hmm. So even they e cannot have uh, enough uh, skill for ERCP, they can do US intervention mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. That's why. So I have to. I have. I guess I have to change my mind. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Either is okay, either is okay. If uh, the so junior doctor has has no not, not so high skill for ERCP, but so he he learn he have to uh, they have to run the uh, intervention at US. Yeah, it's I mean a lot. Oh yes, and also uh, how many experienced assistants would be desired or required. I mean, you show us the three talented assistants, but uh, at the minimum scenario, how many talented assistant, assistant would be required? I think uh, it is also uh, very hard, but uh, uh, I think uh, the, we need the high skill more than ERCP, more than ERCP. ERCP, if we fail, but uh, we can uh, uh, try to perform again. But so in this uh, intervention US, so if we uh, miss the uh, procedure, it's uh, all or nothing. And uh, so that causes a very serious complication because uh, transluminal procedure. So apart from uh, ERCP, uh, it, is, uh, it, it causes a serious, complication yeah. that's why so uh, high skill or uh, the junior doctor uh, we need so at least the three for you yeah yeah mm -hmm. great thank you
So uh, I think uh, on behalf of the organizers of Tokyo Live 2021, myself and Koji Takao, we'd like to thank you for that excellent talk and excellent demonstration that you did on this very difficult procedure. We learned a lot during the procedure and we gained a lot from your answers of the questions and I'm sure the audience will have enjoyed this procedure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.